Hello everyone, in this video, you will learn how to answer true or false questions. We all know that for true, you need to find or infer information from a text to support a statement. For false, that you can find information that contradicts the statement. And for not given, uh, you cannot find any information. Actually, it is about finding synonyms and antonyms. So, for true statements, you can always find synonyms of the keywords in a statement. For false statements, you can always find antonyms of the keywords in a statement. And of course, for not given, it means that you cannot find any synonyms or antonyms. Now, let's look at this example. This year, we have a new English teacher. His name is Mr. Lam. He is a bit chubby and he always says that he is very cute. However, he is a very serious teacher when he is in the lesson. Once we forgot to do our homework, he scolded us firmly. You have to do your homework because it is good for you. You can revise what you have learned in the lesson and find out what you understand and what you don't. He explained why he was so angry after scolding us. From then on, we always hand in our homework on time. Based on this passage, decide whether these statements are true, false, or not given. Statement number one, Mr. Lam is a new teacher. According to the passage, it should be true because you can find a new teacher. And his name is Mr. Lam, so obviously it is true. Statement number two, this year is Mr. Lam's first year working as a new teacher. You cannot find any information about the whether it is first year, second year, or third year, whatever. So, not get done. Statement number three, we never do our homework. So, from this statement, from this sentence, we always hand in our homework on time. So, you need to do your homework if you need to hand in your homework. So, the word always contradicts with the word never. So, false. Statement number four. We think that Miss Lam is guilt. So, the keyword here is that is we think. You cannot find any information about our thoughts. So, we don't know. And the answer should be not given. Finally, Miss Lam thinks that doing homework is beneficial to students. Beneficial, it means good. So, it is good for you. You can find the synonym, so true. Here, I've highlighted the sentences and the keywords. When you can see it is in blue color, it means that it is a synonym. So you can find information that echoes the statement, true. For the words in green in the statements, it means that these keywords, you cannot find any relevant information so not given and then finally never contradicts with always so false now let's look at this example from 215 Pale, question number 14 you can stop the video for a while if you want to try to find out the answers on your own now let's check the answers statement number one daniel is a friend of Sai. so this is actually a not given statement because you can see that there is an interview with Sai, but you cannot know the relationship between Sai and Daniel, so not given. Statement number two is slightly difficult because as you read paragraph seven, you know that Daniel, the speaker, uh, doesn't really like K-pop. As you can see that he thinks that K-pop is quite superficial. So when he talks about his favorite band, Third Line Butterfly, because he doesn't like K-pop, so obviously Third Line Butterfly shouldn't be a K-pop group. So false. And finally, Daniel thinks some good Korean music isn't well known internationally. From the same sentence, but there's 
really good music in Korea that doesn't go outside of Korea. So, this good Korean music isn't well known internationally. Equals to doesn't go outside of Korea. So it should be true. Now let's look at the final example, also from two one five part B one question number forty eight. Again, please pause the video if you want to find out the answers on your own. Now let's check the answers together. Statement number one: There are more than thirty thousand car crashes in the United States each year. This is a very tricky question because in paragraph five, you know that. More than thirty thousand people die each year. However, you don't know the number of car crashes, so the number of car crashes is not mentioned. So, this is actually a not given statement. Statement number two: Fewer people would die in self-driving cars. This one should be true. As you can see again in paragraph five, letting robots take the wheel it means self-driving vehicles would save lives. So it means fewer people would die. So true. Statement number three: self-driving cars would reduce congestion. So from paragraph six, you can actually see that、uh, cars driven by robots could travel closer together at steadier speeds. So,、uh, they won't bunch up, and then you can find that、uh, cars could squeeze onto the road and move more quickly, and a lot of time would be saved. So, it means that congestion reduces. So true. Finally, statement number four: self-driving cars will be smaller. The size of self-driving cars is not mentioned. So. Obviously, not given. So this is the end of this video. Thank you.